The story of ants started a very long time ago, over 100 million years ago during the age of the dinosaurs. Ants came from tropical areas, probably forests, where it was warm and wet, with lots of food like bugs, fruit, seeds, and fungi. They needed these warm places because they weren't used to cold or dry places. When ants were babies or larvae, they depended entirely on adult worker ants to feed and look after them. Ant larvae needed lots of food compared to their small size to grow quickly. What's interesting about ant larvae is that they couldn't move and had no way to defend themselves, so they relied on adult ants to protect and feed them. Ants could live for many years, especially queen ants, which could live up to 30 years. They lived so long because they had safe underground nests and worker ants took care of them. Ants had different body parts that helped them survive, like strong jaws for carrying things and catching food, eyes that could see motion and light, antennae to smell things, and six legs for moving quickly. Ants gathered food in different ways. Worker ants left scent trails for others to follow to and from food sources. They collected sweet substances like plant sap and secretions from other insects. Ants also gathered seeds, fruits, fungi, dead insects, and other sources of protein to bring back to feed the rest of the colony. What ants ate depended on the species, with some being more specialized in their diets than others. When it was time to mate, ant colonies organized nuptial flights where winged reproductive males and females flew in large groups. This helped ants find mates from new colonies instead of mating with relatives from their own colony. These energetic aerial mating rituals were unique to ants compared to other insects. The interactions between ants and early humans probably began shortly after the start of agriculture around 12,000 years ago. Ants, always searching for food sources, would have been attracted to human crops and settlements. While ants could be bothersome, ancient people might have also seen ants cooperating and storing food in clever ways. Some ancient civilizations worshipped or depicted ants and ant symbolism in their stories. Ancient Egyptians watched ants gathering and storing grain and may have thought of them as wise or hardworking. Ants also appeared in myths or as symbols in parts of Africa, Asia, and South America. There are no major historical events recorded specifically about ants. But ants likely attended gatherings, battles, migrations, and other events throughout human history, even if they weren't directly mentioned. Their small size allowed them to move unnoticed even when marching in millions across landscapes. Ant populations can be threatened by extreme weather such as floods or droughts because they live underground and need warmth and moisture. They also face danger from predators like lizards, birds, spiders, and other insects, even though they have defenses like stinging and biting. Nowadays, pesticides used in agriculture and cities can also harm ants. It's hard to track tragedies for ants over their long history of over 100 million years. Possible hardships might include forest fires destroying nests or large numbers of ants getting hurt or killed when colonies fight each other. This fighting happens a lot between different ant species and even between colonies of the same species. Natural disasters like floods, volcanic eruptions, or asteroid strikes could have also hurt ant populations along with other species millions of years ago. For example, when dinosaurs went extinct about 65 million years ago, it created new environments that helped ants become more diverse and successful. Ants are important in many ecosystems. They help soil by digging tunnels, spread seeds, eat pests, and become food for other animals like birds during mating swarms. But sometimes, they can be pests in houses or be dangerous with their stings or bites. 
What's interesting about ants is how they work together in complex ways. They have different roles like nursing, building nests, finding food, and defending the colony. Scientists study how ants communicate and cooperate, even with their small brains, which could teach us things for humans. Some people keep certain ant species as pets, but it's tricky. You need to know how to give them the right home with the right temperature, humidity, and food. Most people watch ants in clear farms instead of keeping them as pets. Ants aren't famous, but sometimes research about their intelligence, communication, navigation, and teamwork gets attention. For instance, desert ants can find their way back home even after going far for food, even if obstacles are in their way. Scientists study ants to learn about genetics, intelligence, communication, behavior, and how they affect the environment. Ant societies are complex, and what we learn from them can help us understand human systems better. Studies show ants mostly rely on instincts and chemicals, not high-level thinking. But their teamwork for gathering food, building nests, and other tasks needs some level of intelligence. Scientists are still curious about whether ants have a kind of group intelligence that's more than just the sum of each ant's brain power. It's hard to know how much is spent on protecting ants, but efforts are made to save rare or threatened species from losing their habitats. This includes breeding ants in zoos or labs, moving colonies to new places, and safeguarding important environments. People can help by donating or getting involved in citizen science projects to learn more about local ant populations. Ants are almost everywhere on land except in the coldest polar regions. Tropical forests have the most kinds of ants because the warmth and moisture there are perfect for them. But ants also do well in deserts, grasslands, and cooler forests. If you look under rocks or logs or near food, you'll probably see ants working hard outside. To sum up, Ants have been around for more than 100 million years because they're good at living in lots of different places and working together. Their complex societies and behaviors interest both scientists and regular people who take time to watch ants in action. Understanding ants better can help humans work together more effectively. Protecting ant diversity helps keep ecosystems balanced and stable by spreading seeds, nutrients, and soil. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more incredible content here on Earth+. Plus. Click on the next video to keep exploring the wonders of life on Earth or dive into our playlist for a stream of curiosity. Thanks for joining us on this video, and until next time, have a good day.